the whole math added thing was just like like i'm freaking good at that because i just know one thing for certain one thing's for sure i'm not no math addict never did no hard drugs most of it was a little bit of weed and i can't even do that because that just makes me paranoid i never spread in play like they go wrong no pirates yo Hey guys, it's Jinye and I'm back with another video and this video is about the truth and the situation with my family and whatnot and stuff I'd never let y'all in on and so you can guys so you guys can get a better understanding of what was going on and why not. So yeah, let's get right into this video. I tried to film this video like three times. I'm literally sitting on my toilet because <laughs> my boyfriend has his people out there it's too loud so i had to go all the way to the back of the house shut the doors and it's just a whole lot a whole lot so hopefully i can do this video really quickly by the title of this video you already know what this video is going to be about and basically me just answering some quick little put that in the back. i don't know there's some quick little questions um I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to start from the beginning of basically what people don't know. Um, so everybody thought I ran away or that um, I was kidnapped, all this crazy stuff, right? So basically with me and James. I was seeing him continuously um, like for about two months before all this stuff happened for weeks at a time, 18 at the time. I didn't come home a lot of times because I would have permission to be able to stay out for like three days or more and then come back home and then right when I come back home, I go right back out with him. So. While that was happening, um, he asked me one day, you wanna go to Vegas? And I said, yeah, but for some reason, my mom was saying no, but you know, I'm helping paying bills at this time. And so I'm thinking like, I'm 18, I'm of age, so I can make my own decisions. Um, but me not acting grown on my behalf, I was wrong. So me not being grown enough to tell her where I was going, cause I thought I didn't have to tell her, but I just told her a lie where I was at. But I ended up going to Vegas with them. My plan was to go out there for two days and come right back. And so it is, as y'all see, it didn't work out like that. So um, I had to go and, um, what is this? I had to go to, we went to Vegas and mom, I don't know where, at night, when we're, me and him were at the movies with a sister, she's texting me like, drop your fucking location, yada, yada, yada. I'm just like, damn, like she knows I'm out here. But on, but James didn't know that I didn't tell her that I was in Vegas. So on my behalf, I was completely wrong about that. But then that morning I texted her cause me and him had a conversation about, um, what I mean? me had a conversation about how my mom just, me and him, like he would always say my mom called me out as a bitches and all this other stuff, but like just really talked down on me. And so he was like, oh, is that how your mom talks to you? Like, you guys should have a conversation and try to, like, have a healthy relationship. And I understood that because he broke it down, like, um, say me and him had a daughter and she was calling our daughter all types of names and stuff like that. I was like, I would not take that very lightly. So I was like, you're right. So I get a group check together in the morning and I text him, um, telling him, you know what? I want to rekindle our relationship. And every weekend, I want to um, make our relationship more healthy. And I want when I get back, I want to sit down and have a talk and to make that happen. And not even right after I texted that group chat, my mom was like, this isn't Jinye, this is James texting this BS, da 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 It's not in. I'm just like, what? And so me and him go to the barbershop. And right after we go to the barbershop, while we're, while we're at the barbershop, I could see a post on Instagram talking about I'm missing all stuff. So I just literally just talked to you guys. 
but she's trying to make it seem like he kidnapped me and all this crazy stuff and i was just like there is no way like y'all met him like my mom has even gone to studio sessions with me and him to where like it's just crazy but i know one time when we when my when james took me and my sisters out to dinner he bought them roses and i every time i hung out with them i wore these same dirty ass all whites and he was tired of it i was tired of it too but you know what i wasn't into stuff like that so he put me on and got me some fantasy he took my he's like take your shoes off took them off he threw them bitches away and bought me some fanny slides and i was like that is an upgrade like what and so i was like no one has ever done this for me before and my mom was like oh no he's controlling blah 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 blah, blah. and that's before i left to vegas for two days what was supposed to be two days so after that i was like it's not like i'm not answering the phone it's not like I'm blocking y'all numbers. Like, I literally just spoke to y'all through chat and y'all thought it was him. If y'all thought it was him, y'all could have FaceTime me or called me, which was crazy. So, yeah, they didn't text or FaceTime me at all. And then so they just went straight to social media, which is crazy because what? But social media was so, it was so crazy because I was on live and they found out what barbershop I was at, what area. They called the barbershop and told them, like, oh, we're gonna call the police da, 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 because Jania is kidnapped and all this crazy stuff. And it's just like, what? Why are y'all putting me and him through all that? And he ain't got nothing to do with it for real. It was just me. Yeah, that's basically that. And every time that I was trying to reach out, it was always me. Like every time we connected, it was always me who reached out. So, uh, and it just never worked out. It would be like two days, but it would never work out. Like one of the times um, I went out there the next night I got put out because of her bringing up the past of what I did when I was younger and then Imaj is trying to pair it in. It's just like, girl, what's up? Like, <laughs> it's just too much today. And so got kicked out. I had to stay at the airport, fell asleep at the airport, got my ticket and went back to where I came from. So after that, I just gave up. I was like, I'm not talking to them ever again. Like, well, I'm open arms. I'm not, not talking to them ever again, but I'm not reaching out ever again. Like, that's on their behalf. If they want to rekindle a relationship, they can. I already tried two times. Was it a good enough for them? So I was like, whatever. That's what happened. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, which I don't know about the situation. I'm about to go all the way into it to where it's just like, I got to rerun and relive the situation again by talking about everything. But that's basically it on my behalf um, that I wanted to come clean about. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna answer some of y'all questions because y'all did have some questions. But I'm grateful that um, James had uh, my sister fly out for my birthday. That was super sweet because I was never expecting it. And as you see, he's the type that wants to rekindle and rebuild relationships to make them healthy because at the beginning of the situation, he told me, you guys should have a conversation and fix that, make a healthy relationship. And mom took that as a whole different kind of way. So it's like, oh, you're not texting, it's James. But it was really me texting, but because I understood where he was coming from. And then to now, to where he brought my sister out, which was beautiful and the best present anybody has ever done for me. So I'm happy me and my sister, Sire, I'm back on good terms. And it's like me and Sire were never on bad terms. It was just like awkward. It was just like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah so i'm happy that happened and then uh i'm about to answer some of y'all questions really quick so they say has your mom reached out no my mom has not reached out she just continues to throw shots on social media which is tiring so i'm not about to entertain that no more after this video after every like after putting this video up i'm not doing that shit no more here my boyfriend about to come through the door and be like i see there you go. Yeah, so um, I had wrote down some little notes. So, cause I have been, I don't know why I've been so forgetful for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, so yeah. Uh, I feel like my mom's problem or her whole ordeal is that she still had a grudge about me and James and it was just a whole, I feel like it was a whole control thing to where I just, I was, she didn't want to, she couldn't accept the fact that I was grown and I was growing up as a young adult. And which is crazy because 
I had to figure out a lot of stuff by myself. Like my sisters have the guidance of helping getting a, their first car, helping get in their own, their place. Like it's just stuff like that to where I had to figure this all out by myself. And that is just so sad. Uh, <laughs> but um, I just want to let them know that I'm still woman up to move past it all like after this video I swear this shit is dead like this whole talking about it I just want it to be over with because it's I was 18 at the time I'm 22 I'm still gonna be keep talking about the same old stuff but um yeah but, but my boyfriend always tells me to love somebody who hurts you shows a lot of courage so I still love the both of them you know I'm so glad me and Sarah got on a great page to where we're on a fresh new relationship but Hey, I'm not gonna force somebody to come over and, you know, rekindle something they don't wanna rekindle. That's totally up to them. But I just know by any means, I am very forgiving of the whole situation and I'm open arms to rekindling any type of relationship with my mom and my sister. But I, with coming with that rekindling, I want them to actually change behaviors and actually wanting to grow into a healthy relationship and not fall back into the same cycle that we were once were in. It's just very tiring and I feel like we're all very grown. My bad, my butt keeps sliding off the toilet. But yeah, we're all very grown to where there shouldn't be a reason why we're not already moving past it. So, but yeah, like the whole model situation with Imaja, it's just, I don't know, I didn't respect the fact that it was just like, the whole meth addict thing was just like, like I'm forgiving of that because I just know one thing for certain, one thing's for sure, I'm not no meth addict. Never did no hard drugs. Most of it was a little bit of weed and I can't even do that because that just makes me paranoid. So yeah, um, the whole meth situation was just like, why well, y'all gonna listen to some random person on the internet that can tell you that I was doing meth. And that's a very hard drug. Like this, that's crazy. I was depressed, but I wasn't that depressed of what I was doing. Man. So yeah, that was just that was just a little crazy to me. But for those past couple years, the, with the whole situation going now, I was very depressed. Like I was losing a whole bunch of weight, and the only person I had on my side was James and his family. And James is my number one backbone. Like always had me through all that. It still has me now. Like this, throughout everything, throughout everything y'all say about him, he has been the best support system. And even though I shouldn't have put things out on the internet, which I regret doing by putting people in my business and spreading lies about this man because I was in my feelings about situations and I couldn't be grown enough to come to him as an adult or as a woman. You know, I really regret that. But as you see, me and James are still great, still holding on still happy together like it's we've grown like as my sister we've grown <laughs> grown grown you can see the growth so it's very you know healthy on that side so I really want y'all to stop like bashing him because he had nothing to do about the situation of Sarati getting broken up or whatever you know what I'm saying like he had no no uh parts in that so yeah um what else so Oh yeah, I'm, uh, what takes a what takes a really what takes a really big toll on me is my little sister and like my older sisters, they're grown, you know. I'm already good with one of them. The other one still gotta come around, but um, you know, my little sister, I had no way to contact her. So it hurts my feelings because I really love her. Like I even reached out to her dad like a couple months ago. I forgot when I did, but it was a couple months ago. It might be a little longer than that. But I asked, I asked to call, call her, talk to her on the phone, to no avail. And I wanted to get more pictures of her, like recent pictures, because I also wanted to get a tattoo of a portrait of her on my arm and stuff. And just, yeah, no, it didn't work out. So I didn't get that. Um, my brother, it makes me very emotional because my boy, I missed out on him getting his first job or whatever, because I had seen, you know, you know I see stuff. Um, I know I'm not, I'm not about to cry. Oh, no, hold on, give me like five seconds because I'm not doing that on social media no more. 
But um, yeah, and he just he graduated. Just so much stuff I'm missing out on. So it makes me hard on y'all. I'm not about to do this. <laughs> hard on, I'm not about to do this. This is not time or the place. But yeah, so I don't know how my baby sister thinks to me. I don't know how my little brother thinks to me. But you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I really don't know what to say about that because it's just a lot of that stuff that needs to be fixed with that family. Like it's just a lot of and you gotta start from the mother and work your way down. So it's just a lot of toxic traits that needs to be broken down and fixed. But you can't do that unless you wanna admit to your wrongs and put your pride aside and actually want to do that so and i tried so i'm not about to keep begging and begging and just make my life miserable because i can keep getting shot down you know so yeah that's that but sincerely to imagine i really wish you the best i hope you become the biggest star with your music career i really wish you the best i'm still open arms and i apologize if i hurt you so this is fuck all the social media this is actually from your little sister to you so yeah if you want to ever rekindle the situation we can i'm totally down you know me and sorry did it i mean you could do it um i pretty much did answer the questions i just didn't say the questions all out but um yeah it was just it's like a whole healing process with that thing it's just a lot of toxic a lot of people been through a lot of stuff it's very understanding but it shouldn't push your family away to where I don't know it's just a lot of stuff needs to be figured out but um I'm done speaking on this entire situation I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh I had a better understanding now so with that being said thank you guys for watching this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Can I say something for what it is worth?